Hey folks, Steve Alcorn here with you once again. Yes, I'm driving, but here's the thing. I had a comment a couple time, a couple videos ago about vlogging and driving. The phone is in a mount. I'm not looking at it. It just sits there and I talk while I drive. It's no different than if my wife was sitting next to me. Uh, I would talk to her, so it's, it's pretty much the same thing. So anyway, today I am in Conneaut, Ohio, my hometown. Well, not my hometown, but where I live now. I'm going to give you a little view of our park here. This is Conneaut Township Park, and it overlooks Lake Erie. Got to go over the bump. It is Tuesday, 2-27, 2018. It is 53 degrees up here by the lake. If you go south of here, it's over 60 degrees, so it's nice and warm. But it's a little bit cooler up here because of the breeze off the lake. Uh, all the way across the lake is Canada, and we're getting air from Canada. And we're going to pull up here and I'll show you what the lake looks like today. We've got a beautiful, uh, beautiful park down here. Looks like it got flooded out down there. Woo! I haven't been down here since last year. There's the lighthouse over there. You can see there's still some ice in the little um, place over there. And if you look out all the way towards the horizon, there's still some ice on the lake. Uh, it was crusty all the way up here towards the uh, shore as well. But uh, this is where they hold the annual D-Day event. If you've ever been to the uh, Conneaut, Ohio D-Day event, you'll, you'll be amazed. But this is what it looks like when there's nothing. And when the event is going on, there's 50 to 60,000 people on these, uh, hill, this hill here. And it goes, this is a pretty big stretch of beach. And this is full of uh, D-Day reenactors. And they storm this hill right about where I'm sitting right now. They come up on top of the hill. And it's really a cool event. It's like a four or five day event. And it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. So if you ever get to Conneaut, Ohio in August, I believe, is the D-Day reenactment. I'm going to turn the camera around and uh, show you what I found today. All right, I'm back. Um, I just went to the Goodwill, stopped at Walgreens, uh, didn't see anything there. Walgreens because uh, the bearded picker, Scott Zoki, gave us a tip today on the Reseller Breakfast Club show about some things at Walgreens, but we didn't have any at mine, so I didn't get any. It happens. But uh, so I went to Goodwill and Salvation Army and I'm heading back home. This park here that I'm at is about two blocks from my house, so I get to uh, walk here and enjoy the beach in the summer times. It's really nice. Um, you can see there's people, or you could see when you uh, when I showed you, there's people down there. They're looking for beach glass and things of that nature, so it's pretty cool. Um, first thing I got was this DVD. It is Doug Stanhope. I'm not familiar with the guy, but it looks like he's a pretty maybe a raunchier type comedian. Uh, this was going for like 40 bucks on Amazon with a pretty decent rank, but I couldn't find any on eBay. But I figured for $1.89, I'd take a chance the disc is in there. I didn't look to see how good a condition the disc was in. I'll pop that out. Uh, it needs a good cleaning, but it should be all right. So we'll see what we can do with that on eBay. Uh, if it's not worth anything, at least it's good entertainment. Uh, that was at the Goodwill. Uh, that wasn't the only thing I got there, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix this stuff up because it's mixed up in the car. I got my very first, and I've been looking for one of these for a while. This is a Rain Spooner. Let's see if you can see that tag. Rain Spooner. This was uh, $2.99, so three bucks at the Goodwill. And it has the older style tag in it, so it's vintage. It's that reverse print, so it's lighter on the outside, darker on the inside. But it's a nice shirt. I don't know if it's got a lot of value, but this is the very first rain spooner that I found, so I thought I'd pick it up. Uh, that was at the uh, Salvation Army. This was also at the Salvation Army. I'll show you one of them. Um, and I'm going to have to figure it out. These are Johnson and Mur or, Johnson Murphy. Allen Edmonds. And I haven't ever seen a pair of Allen Edmonds, and I know they can be really good. But these are Allen Edmonds. They say Park Avenue. Made in the USA. Size, I don't know. Oh, size 11. So they're a little bit small for me. Um, they also say Allen Edmonds right there on this little tag. They're a little older, and I'll have to see how to get that off. And they got that crease there, but I think they'll be all right. Uh, some of these shoes sell for hundreds of dollars. I don't know if this pair is that, but I've never seen a pair of Allen Edmonds at the thrift stores, so I figured I'd give it a shot. They still have a lot of wear and life to them. The soles are a little rough, but I think they'll be all right. 
So we'll see. I don't know what I'm going to get out of those. Uh, that was also at the Salvation Army. This was at the Salvation Army. Bingo cards. There's three 100 books of 10 sheets. They're brand new. They're made by American Gaming. Um, and there are different colored ones in there too, I, I noticed. They look, there's blue, there's yellow, I think there's red or pink. Um, I'll have to take, I'll have to open this because this has a FBA sticker on it. So somebody had sent these in the Amazon at one time. It looks like I can get 25 maybe out of them, $25. So they're pretty heavy, so, but they'll, they should fit in a padded flat rate. And if I have to, I'll separate them. I'll make it half and half and sell them for a little bit less. And, you know, so I can get them in a the right kind of shipping envelope. Um, got some ink. I didn't really get a chance to look at the comps. This is 564 XL and it has three in there and it's sealed. Uh, August 2016, so that's not too bad. Uh, so we'll see what those are worth. I got this for 89 cents. Uh, the bingo cards were $3.99. The Rain Spooner was three ninety or two ninety nine, and the Allen Edmonds were three ninety nine. And not uh, to be outdone, I got a second five sixty four XL. This one comes with a birthday card uh, thing with it, so this might actually includes photo cartridge. It says for select HP printers, so this one might have more value or less, but it does have two inks in this one. So the comps are actually four inks in this one. The comps look pretty good on that one, on both of them actually. Uh, just got a little GE alarm clock for my wife's son. He just got a job, so he needs to um, to uh, be able to get up for work. So I got him an alarm clock. Um, that was the alarm clock was a dollar eighty nine at the Goodwill, and both of those inks were eighty nine cents at the Goodwill. This was from the Salvation Army. Now it may look weird. It says Ford, but it has the heart beat of America but it actually says the heartbreak of today's Chevrolet so it's like a uh, funny hat uh, kind of an anti Chevy hat it's made by Nissan so it's from probably the well whenever that logo was going on I actually have a coat with that logo on it too that I got to get listed uh, so late 80s was it or early 90s somewhere in there the heartbeat of America was going on but that's the heartbreak and now it's a local Ford dealership, but I think because it's funny, it's camo, it's like that puffy hat, I think it'll get a few bucks. Maybe not a ton, but a few. Um, and that was from the Salvation Army. I got myself a vintage staple remover, more to use than anything else. Pull staples out. This looks like it was at, actually, it's got an FBA label on it too, so that's weird. Somebody sent that into Amazon. Uh, this was 49 cents, but I figured pulling some of these tags from Salvation Army, I'm going to try using a staple remover to see how it works. I can't get it out of the box right now, but it's pretty interesting. I think the best find of the day, maybe, or maybe not, I don't know, was this. It's a Pendleton. It is made in the USA, so it's a good Pendleton. So it's more vintage-ish. It does, it's probably, uh, to say early 90s it doesn't have the wool mark on it so i know it's newer than uh, a certain age. i mean it's not super old but it's like a button-up cardigan type thing it's in fantastic shape uh, it is wool looks like it's 100 percent wool i'll look at the tag on the inside here uh, it just says dry clean so it's probably a hundred it feels 100 percent wool yeah 100 percent virgin wool made in portland oregon so it's one of the good pendletons uh but I've never seen this style, so I'll have to look it up. And the final thing I got today was a Bible. This was $3. It's a heavy, heavy Bible. Uh, comps are only showing about 15 to 20, but I'm going to try to get 25 out of it because you can see the presentation page there. It's never been used. Um, it, I think it's a leather at cover. I don't think it's actual leather. It's made by... Good Council Publishing Company, Chicago, Illinois, 1960. Um, and it's actually the 1960 version. And it is a red letter edition, and it's got a bunch of uh, cool graphics and photos in it. So that's it for today. Um, I don't know how well I'll do that. Pendleton is kind of a oh, wild card because I'm not sure 
how that style of Pendleton does, but it was 389, so I figured I'd pick it up. Um, the ink I know is good. Some of those were going like $40 or something. I'll have to look it up. I, I just did a quick thing, but I know expired ink. You can buy HP, and it's it's a no-brainer to pick it up for 89 cents, even if it was only 10 bucks. You know, so. But that's going to do it for me today. Um, if you want to catch me on the Reseller Breakfast Club, you can go over to Scott Zilke's channel. That's The Bearded Picker. Look up The Bearded Picker on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to his channel. And he does the show every Tuesday and Thursday mornings. Uh, and uh, he also uh, uploads other stuff. He's more of an Amazon FBA guy or yeah, F FBA guy. And uh, there's the other guys on there are great as well. And they're mainly eBay. So we talk about, you know, eBay and Amazon, and, and we just have a little bit of fun on that show. So if you want to catch me there, you can, every Tuesday and Thursday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. I don't know how to do the time zone conversion, so you'll have to figure that out on your own. Thanks for watching.